cruisers. This video, we're going to Sedona. We're gonna meet up with uh, Las Vegas Pinoy Overland. Give you guys another update when something happens or when I get over there. Several song-filled hours later. So the plan was we to meet up at the McDonald's in Sedona. And by the way, the McDonald's in Sedona is the only one in the whole world that has a turquoise arch. So just keep that in mind. That's a little tidbit for you. Anyways, after we met up, probably waited for like an hour until everybody showed up. We headed out to Broken Arrow Trail, which is uh, around 8 to 10 minutes from downtown Sedona. And it's a 6.7 mile out and back trail near Sedona so it's basically like a loop trail that's like a start and finishes in the same spot it's considered a moderately challenging route so I mean for me it wasn't it, is, it wasn't too hard but there's some areas where if you don't have a lift you, you're gonna need a spotter so that's probably why it's considered moderately challenging and it takes around three hours according to all trails to complete so, the thing about this trail is there's going to be a lot of pink Jeeps. And uh, we came here on a Saturday. And uh, surprisingly, there wasn't too many other people off-roading here. But you will see a lot of pink Jeeps. Because the Broken Arrow Trail is exclusive to the pink Jeep tours. And uh, as you can see right here. And they're the only Sedona off-road outfitter permitted to use this trail. So if you go on a tour, it's $137 an adult. Fortunately for us, we have our own off-road vehicle, so check out the video and see what happened. All right, let's cruise. All right, you're probably wondering, where's the off-road trail? You see me driving around this neighborhood. Well, it's right ahead. You wouldn't know it if you were just here for the first time, which I was. This is my first time doing Broken Arrow. And at first I was like, okay, we're in a, you know, residential neighborhood. Where is the off-road trail? But it's coming up, I guarantee you. And another tidbit for you guys is Broken Arrow Trail is one of the top trails according to TripAdvisor. So don't just take it from me. Take it from TripAdvisor. I believe it was the number one for 2021 and it's still in the top three for 2022. So just FYI, this is a must-see if you're coming to Sedona. And uh, yeah. Well, basically, this is the entrance right here. So you're going to you're gonna come in. You're going to see the signs. There's going to be a staging area on the left, right ahead, right when we get in. You'll see it in a bit. Sorry for rambling on. I'm trying to narrate this for you. But see the st staging area is on the left. And I'm just going to cut it off right now and let the video roll for a little bit. So yeah, it's really busy over here if you come on Saturday. So on the left, this is kind of like a parking area as well because people can go hiking and mountain biking as well. So that's why there's a lot of traffic over there. So we got a, we got a little thing right here already. Uh oh, it's Colorado has an issue coming up this thing. Let's put this thing on low real quick. All right, here we go. Let's get the... So full disclaimer, I wasn't gonna attempt this trail to begin with because I had a leak at my brake master cylinder, which I had to remedy with some silicone tape. And I also had a power steering leak. But in the end, I decided to do it. So, just FYI. See, it's like, this is where you enter, I guess. You gotta go up this way. So while we're waiting for the rest of the crew to make it up the hill, so we can start the run, as you can see, the pink Jeeps are doing their thing. And I just wanna say, some people were, you know, telling me the pink Jeeps were, you know, not so nice to other people off-roading on the trail. But my opinion, my experience with them when I did this trail is they were pretty friendly. And they actually complimented my rig, so shout out to the pink Jeep. 
I got nothing wrong with them. I got no problems, no issues with them. Keep doing what you're doing. So we just went along the trail i mean this part was pretty much just dirt but coming up there's some more technical parts of the trail anyways uh, i believe it's the east twin buttes which you're going to be seeing up soon and we you know you just took it the scenery because you know they say pictures show a thousand words i believe is that what the saying it is pictures a thousand words well in video i guess that's a million words so Check it out.
So after a bit of driving, we finally get to Twin Buttes, which are in the backdrop right there. And this place is just a good place to take in everything that this trail has to offer. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So this is pretty much the end of the trail when you get the chicken point. But the OHV trail is a little different from the hiking trail. So we're going to go back towards, I believe, submarine rock. And I'm not sure, mushroom rock. There's a lot of rocks in this trail. You see a lot of different types of rocks. But uh, yeah, you'll see in a minute what I mean. So we decided to take a little break, you know, everybody just stretched out, you know, did what they had to do. And then we headed to this cool little thing called, I believe it's Devil Staircase. So check it out. So over here on the double staircase, uh, you need to watch your angle if you don't have a lift. Or even if you do, because you can hit your differential right there if you don't have any armor. So just come in at that angle that I came down in there and you'll be fine.
So this is where we ended the uh, trail ride. We went to Submarine Rock and then headed back to the beginning of the trail. But uh, this is Submarine Rock, I believe, because it looks like a submarine. It looks like a big submarine. I definitely recommend this trail. Everybody had a great time. The people from Vegas, us from Arizona. And again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Alright, the Easy Cruiser out.